When you were speaking with these villagers and you spent some time with them, did you think they told you everything? Were, were their stories accurate? Were they holding anything back? Or were they completely upfront? Well, I did sense that they were upfront and that their stories were heartfelt. Of course, there were some disparities between the stories. I spoke to mainly children. It's always difficult to assess whether a child is actually, uh, you know, aware of what they saw. Uh, two of the children I spoke to told me that uh, they only saw one American in their house. The eight-year-old girl I spoke to said she saw several Americans in her house. Uh, I also spoke to a woman whose husband had been shot in the head. She told me very horrific accounts of the way that she dragged his body into the house and how his brains were in her hands. Uh, you know, she told me that she saw 15 to 20 Americans in her house. Uh, they were open and I felt they were heartfelt, but there were disparities between the st stories, certainly. One question which, which I, I, I'm still yet to get an answer to is that we saw protests after the Quran burnings. We've seen protests in the past. I haven't really seen protests after the, the, the shooting massacre there. Why is that? It's interesting. That's a, story, uh, that's a question that crossed my mind as well. It seems that something that uh, a, a religious attack uh, on, their, on their religion and their Quran uh, sort of felt like it affected them more. They're grieving at the moment, but that doesn't mean that there won't be revenge attacks. Uh, after the uh, death of these people, apparently they loaded the trucks, uh, the, uh, trucks with their, their dead bodies and went to the American base. They were turned away by the Afghans and, and elders in the village and told that there would be a trial, that they would, justice would be served. So it appears that the Afghans are now waiting for, for, for justice to be served. Uh, there, there's a lot of outrage that uh, the American soldier was actually taken out of Afghanistan 48 hours after the attack. Uh, they told me that if an Afghan soldier had done something similar in the United States, would that soldier be taken out of uh, the United States, brought back to Afghanistan and put on trial here? That probably certainly wouldn't happen. So why is it happening in this case? That's something that's angered and outraged the people here uh, to a large extent. It, it is a fair question. As far as the U.S. military goes, I got the impression by watching your report, a very detailed account of everything that happened, that perhaps the U.S. military wasn't so helpful. They weren't necessarily very cooperative, no. Uh, when we arrived, they initially tried to block us from accessing the children at the ISAF hospital. I was told that they were minors and therefore my questions would further traumatize them. It was only from uh, personal intervention by uh, President Karzai himself after my director of uh, news in Sydney wrote him a personal letter asking for us to have access, uh, that uh, the doors were opened for us. Before that, the US military were saying that no, that we wouldn't be seeing the children, that they would too traumatized to speak to us but once President Karzai intervened we got uh, military access to the village and we got full access to all the survivors so the Afghan government certainly wants this story to come out as do the Afghan people. Do you get the feeling that Karzai is in a difficult position here he has an outraged Afghan public but he also has the US military who essentially keeps him in power? Well, I spoke to Karzai himself five weeks ago, and I, in my interview, I asked him how he deals with all these competing forces. How does he balance uh, dealing with the uh, international community and the Americans, as well as the Afghan people and the Taliban? Uh, you know, it's a difficult uh, juggling act for him. It's certainly a thankless job. Uh, but um, at this stage, he, he really is pushing for freedom of the press when it comes to this particular story and expressed outrage to me about, uh, you know, us being blocked and, and said that he wanted us to have full access to everything.